So Jess, thanks for taking the time. In talking to teachers about the differences of the DLP and learning in person, one of the things that comes up again and again is feedback. And the universal truth is most teachers say, I can give more feedback more rapidly and more accurately and more nuanced in person, but I'm finding ways within the DLP to give feedback that's meaningful. And so um, my first question is, what's the helpful workflow you found while on distance learning? There's been a lot of trial and error, <laughs> a lot of it from last year all the way to today. And each um, time I open it up, I'm constantly trying to find ways to streamline. I think I have a system that is working quite well as long as I stay organized. And for today, everyone's Zooming, and then they have what they have to do and what they have to submit. Otherwise, I have videos for everything that they need. Great. And um, those are usually my videos that I've created for them specifically. Run a little bit on their own speed. I then have time to offer individual feedback. And I've been doing that using Google Classroom, Jamboard, Loom, and Moat. Each student has a Jamboard for the unit, and that's how they're showing you their work product for each day. And then you can quickly, in Google Classroom, scroll through those Jamboards, see if they've got it, and you can leave a video if you want to with Loom, you can type a comment, you can give an emoji. I don't know about Moot. I don't know what Moot is. So. It's a Chrome extension where you can leave a voice comment in ah. the private comment. Sometimes I can just explain it better in the tone of my voice. I, I want them to have that connection. It's so easy yeah. to misinterpret feedback or not read feedback, but if they can hear my voice and every time I'm recording a loom, I, when it does that countdown, three, two, one, I'm like, smile, say the kid's name, be happy, even if you're, you got bad news for them, <laughs> you know? Uh, Number one, you're thinking about how that feedback is received. Study after study has told us the number one factor of creating effective feedback is the recipient's attitude towards that. And they must believe that it's actionable. They must believe that it's supportive. They must believe that it's there for them and in goodwill. And of course, tone of voice is everything with that. And the second thing, when you are flipping the classroom and making these instructional videos that are uh, you know, short and sweet, that when they are made um, by the teacher, himself or herself, they're more effective, even when they're, the production quality isn't that high. And no, I agree with that because um, I, I find, like, I, we just started a new semester, so I had a whole new batch of students that I, I don't know at all, but I know that at least they, they are starting to know me. They organize. But you can see in here that I have Loom feedback. Perfect. Uh, and I have times that I've just uh, spoken to the student and uh, other comments, but we can, I can also pull them in and talk on Jamboard while they're on Jamboard and give them individual feedback, highlighting something that was needed attention to. Uh, but I could also take the pen and I can uh, draw on a thing and say, you need to address this part over here or mm -hmm. the perspective line should be going in this direction and, and adapt uh, either real time or on the Loom video. Okay. But so if I have this um, running dialogue, mm -hmm. I know then at the end of the semester or at the end of the unit, how did this go? Did this make sense? Uh, you know, was this working? Great. The, the camera. Great. Can I put you a little bit on the spot and say that in years past, we've talked about systems for recording feedback. And sometimes it's difficult to remember, what did I say to that student and when? Because I want to know, did they react to it? Is there anything that um, you can see in what you've been doing in DLP that's going to help you solve um, that problem? I can really see if they're applying my feedback. I have built into my rubrics um, part of the assessment is, are you responding to my feedback? Are I am more concerned about the progress throughout and how they apply and adapt than the finished drawing. Through Jamboard, I can have this sort of running um, progress of, you know, did they apply that? Were they able to fix that? Uh, this can be done in um, very small capsules as well. 
at certain times. It doesn't have to be after every meeting, with every kid. It could be just, you know, when they need it uh, at certain times. This is just the, the method that works for me.